today it's going to pour rain and there's going to be thunderstorms. So it's nice to see that uh, that rain, despite it falling this morning, will begin to clear the Montreal area as we head into tomorrow. This is part of a bigger system that is sticking around for the next couple of days. It's made its home in Ontario and Quebec and it's quite comfortable. And so that has prompted a number of advisories. Luckily, they've been lifted this morning, but through the last about at 24 hours or so, we've had special weather statements just because of the sheer amount of rainfall. Now, further north, we do have reduced air quality continuing. A lot of people were really hopeful that this rain would move into the zones that are dealing with more extensive fires. Unfortunately, as that rain moves its way northward, it does begin to taper off into more showers as opposed to steady state rainfall. New this morning, Septiles has been added into that air quality statement that does still persist further west. Now, this low, like I mentioned, next three days, it sticks around and it's going to bring the risk of thunderstorm for some. This will include the Toronto area towards Hamilton down towards Windsor later on today. As we head into tomorrow, we'll get into some heavier rain that pushes in for the morning. This in eastern Ontario, but notice it stays west of the Montreal area until evening. And then we could get into a risk of overnight thunderstorms. So you have a good break uh, in terms of rainfall kind of late afternoon, which is good to see. Now westward, we do have significant smoke in the forecast. This this is continuing for northern Alberta, parts of central and northern BC. But new today, it has cleared far southern Alberta. There's still significant haze in parts of Saskatchewan, Manitoba, and even into northern Ontario. But as we zoom out, you see that smoke begins to move. It slides back into southern Alberta for Wednesday evening. Parts of central Ontario as well and into Quebec will see a return to smokier conditions than what we have today. Now, there are widespread smoke advisories in place in western Canada. Uh, due to the fires burning there. This will persist and likely expand as we go into tomorrow. Outside of that, there is a cold front moving its way through as we see an upper trough swing into the region. That's gonna do a couple different things. It will reduce temperatures in BC, prompt the winds to really elevate, plus give a risk of thunderstorms. So we see advisories already this morning. Wind warnings along the Pacific coast, plus special weather statements as we're heading into the BC interior. And new this morning, severe thunderstorm watches already in effect from this Osoya area uh, eastward towards Creston and then north towards Revelstoke. What we're watching here would be storms firing up with a significant risk of hail as well. A little bit further east, we do have excessive heat warnings still in effect. Those will get lifted once the front moves through. But notice today ahead of that front, it is hot, like temperatures in the high 20s, low 30s. We are seeing some spots like Grand Prairie in Alberta already impacted by that cold front. Tomorrow, the temperatures will be a lot cooler. And as we slide eastward to Atlantic Canada, we do have uh, some rain falling this morning, but we'll take you, can we go live to Grand Falls, Windsor in Newfoundland? Yes, we can. The reason why I wanna show you this is you are waking up to a little more sunshine, but also frost advisories. It's gonna be real cold tonight. Temperatures in the area falling between minus two and one degree Celsius. So tomorrow will be quite chilly.